So first of all, thank you for the invitation. Uh, it's an honor for me to be here. First time in Liechtenstein. Uh, between this, I have been. Uh, it's my first time here. And it's amazing. To tr I live. I uh, stay in the Swiss side, so I crossed the border and I came from Austria. So it's an interesting place. <coughs> okay, thank you for the invitation. And it's the first time to meet Albert since many years. <coughs> we um, communicated via email and phone. And this is, what do you think this is? Any suggestion? This is a piece of wood. Yes, and what else? Yeah. Mobile phone. Hmm? Mobile phone. Yes, it's a mobile phone. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cell phone. Uh, it's a smartphone as well because you see the letters. <laughs> so it's um, there's still no display, so I don't know how it works. But <clears throat> it's a present from uh, ten years old, ten year old um, um, child. Thank you. <clears throat> and does it work? Yeah. And my small presentation is about play, play, play playing in graphic design, uh, being a little bit unperfect, um, <clears throat> and see things as a child again. So this is difficult because we go to school and we go to um, we do our profession, we have to be perfect in our life, and it's difficult to come back uh, and see things as a child and be like maybe it's it's when we go for holiday and we see new things and new people and then we get excited again. So this is my subject, playing veterans, a uh, person taking undergraduate design education. And <coughs> maybe I introduce myself, I'm a, actually I'm a graphic designer uh, working in my own studio, but since almost 20 years um, I teach. Um, I'm a part-time teacher in the Augsburg University of Applied Sciences in south of Germany, near close to Munich. And um, I teach graphic design, I teach interactive design, and basic design courses, uh, under, mostly undergraduate designs, but also supervision of diploma projects and bachelor projects. So, as a conclusion or introduction for me, analog and manual design methods like sketching are essential parts of design education and design process. When you look to the poster, I don't know if they are already there. Um, you see many sketchbooks, and I like sketching, I like working with my hands. Especially in times when most of the day I'm sitting in front of the computer, computer screen. So this is a, um, actually give a small introduction uh, to give you the idea of my philosophy. And um, I will present two workshops or two um, assignments. The first one is hacking images, and the second one is multi-visualization. And um, it's good because I, I talked to Thomas before, and um, he will also work maybe with music, so maybe it's good connection. Um, I will show you three um, quotes from uh, John Berger. I like him very much, John Berger, and his famous book, Ways of Seeing. Uh, he says, seeing comes before words. It is seeing which establishes our place in the surrounding world. Next one. This is from Donis Adonis. It's an it's a, it's a essential uh, graphic design book or education book. And um, it's called Shrine of Visual Literacy. <coughs> and it's how many see what the broad spectrum of processes, activities, functions, attitudes, the simple little question reaches out to encompass. The list is long to perceive, to understand, to watch, to observe, discover, recognize, visualize, examine, read, look. So looking, observing is very important for me. Like when I do a sketch, I need to be at the place and it lasts maybe an hour and I somehow I get connected with the place. And drawing is a really good uh, method to get connected to places. Um, and what's important for me is the head, eye and hand contact or connection. Um, because usually when you work on the computer, first you really need to work mostly really perfect because the, the computer asks you to work perfect, redesign, millimeter point. And if you work with hand like sketching, the, the way from the head to the hand is much uh, quicker. So you are um, able to um, 
create quicker ideas, better ideas, faster ideas. I'm still, this is a picture uh, from the situation. I like this work situation. It's it's uh, it's uh, visible or it's, it's relevant that students have to go come into a flow to get into a workflow to work together to try out to don't be shy and to really make a mess. This is important. And after that, we do. Um, after that process, we do a presentation and we talk about what uh, about the changes of the meaning, the new meaning, the new message of an image, which one works, which one doesn't. Like most of the, some students, they, they do too much. Eh? They 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 cut out and, and 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 glue something, and it becomes too complicated. But the best solutions are when you just do a little altering of the image. Uh, the second one is music visualization. So I don't only the first one only was only working with pictures with images, which with that what can be seen. But um, I love music. I can't play piano. I told you, Thomas. I would love to, but I like music. I always listen to music, and I like every style except hip hop and tech house maybe. <coughs> you know the boom 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 and like that. <coughs> But um, I'm really open. I think music opens your mind, your soul, and this is what I show the students. So I, I may get them crazy for, like, for example, when I sh um, that listen to them very complicated music like uh, free jazz, modern contemporary classic music. So it's kind of a difficult thing. And, this exercise I use as a warm-up for students in the beginning of the lecture. I play them some, play them some music, and like for three minutes, or two or three minutes, and they have to visualize it. Um, either with dots, you know, these marking dots, which are available in the store, either with dots or with lines. I show you uh, later some words of the lines. Um, to, um, let me go back just once more. Um, Yes, yeah, so when the students hear the music, they should listen to the music, even if they don't like it. So, most pieces they don't like. Uh, <coughs> they think it's crap, it's complicated. But I told, tell them, uh, just listen to it, think about the, the, the instrumentation, the arrangement, the, the color of the music, the emotion of the music, and um, the rhythm of the music, and find, to, find an abstract way to visualize it. So this is an example of the one that has the Bach and the cheek string. So we listen while they are listening, they have to work with the music. Some get into the music, some don't. But usually the class gets very silent immediately because they start to listen. They don't think, they start to listen. Starts, melody starts here, and then it grows. That's the end, actually. <coughs> Five minutes late. No, I, 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 I'm sorry because. Uh, you know, everyone uh, had to get a chance to talk. Of course. But your first time we the Shen, that was okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So if you have questions afterwards, yeah. or if you want to write an email, please do. Thank you very much. So.